talking about. Just when I came after. Oh, you not. Like seven pounds? Oh, yeah, we got some back and forth. Oh my god! Oh shit! Ah! ah. Got it! Holy crap! All right, guys, today is February the 16th. We are out exploring a new place called General Watkins Conservation Area. It's located between Cape Girardeau and Sykeston in southeast Missouri, near the town of Oran. What it is, it's uh, very flat here, except this conservation area sets up on a really high ridge. And it's got seven different lakes. We're just going to stop at each one, or five of the seven anyway, for about 20, 30 minutes each and just kind of mess around. I don't expect to really catch anything, but if I do, it'll be a bonus. So stay tuned, let's see if we can get something. It's pretty clear. Ooh, I about got hung. Guys, spot number one was a complete flop, but like I said before, we're just happy to get out on a nice warm February day. Right now it's 55 degrees and it's sunny, it feels great. I really don't care if I catch fish today or not, it's more of just an exploring thing. I've been wanting to mark this place off my list for over a year now. I kept procrastinating, so I figured what better time than during the winter just to at least get a feel for it and learn the lakes. And uh, we'll probably pretty much know if we ever want to come back or not. But at least you got seven different lakes you can try. You'll go left here, and then you'll make a left on a gravel road called Park Road. I'd, ooh, what was all these cars coming from? My gosh. I'd wait a little while. It's not very far, about a quarter mile to the turn side of it. Yeah, that's it. Well, there's a big old lake over there too. I think this is it. Yeah, Park Road. Okay, and then when you go down, <clears throat> the road's gonna split like this. You'll want to go on the left one called something. Uh, I got the name of it. Field Road. So where the road splits, you turn left on Field Road, and then that takes you to another parking lot. It's a dead end with a parking lot on it. And then we gotta walk a little bit. There's two lakes at this spot. There's a lake, and the, yeah, there's one here too, but I don't know, I think that one's theirs. It don't seem like that one's part of the park. No, we haven't went to the split in the road yet. Oh yeah, yeah, go left. Yes, that one. That's private. That's a private house that way. It's this way, yeah. And you go all the way to the end. There's a parking lot. See, that's not part of the park. That's a, someone's house. They make it very clear. They don't want you in their land. I think a lot of these may be oak trees. Guys, we're actually at number spot number two and three, built in the one. To get to these lakes, we have to hike down a trail. So if these end up being good, it's not a place I can launch ever. Now a kayak would be a good idea, but definitely not my canoe. 
they're a pretty good walk too from what I'm seeing on the satellite because you got one lake in front of the other one to get to the second one you got to cross across the dam and then go through another trail So this one guy is very dingy. Still can't really tell for sure yet though. Alright guys, we are walking up on spot number three as we speak. I see some dinginess to it, but it don't look as bad. And I think it is more on the muddy side, more than clear. It's looking more dingy the closer I get. The first lake we got to was clear, so I was hoping they all would be, but. Box number four, five, and six, where the satellite photos threw me off as I thought you could drive all the way to the lake, but you can only come right in at the beginning of the highway to the parking lot. And then you couldn't tell by the satellite photos that the road's actually blocked off by a picnic table and you gotta walk in. It's a long hike, probably a three quarters of a mile or more. Well, hey, how are you? You're on YouTube. Did you know that? You're on YouTube. You're famous, buddy. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. You're a friendly horse, huh? I wouldn't want you biting me. That's for sure. Say hello to everybody. <laughs> oh, look, he's got little ponytails. Look. Well, you have a good day, okay? <laughs> All right, let's see how long of a walk it'll say up here. <clears throat> we got a good, pretty good hike this time, guys. And although we've not had any fish yet, we, we already wasted all the time to come here. No time to go anywhere else. I said we might as well just check out the whole place and uh, mark it off my list of places I've been wanting to go. So, like I said earlier, I really don't care if I catch anything today or not. I'm happy just to have a day off where it hasn't poured rain. It has literally rained three weeks in a row every time I'm off. Two inches or more each time. Fishing's been impossible. Everything's flooded. There's really nowhere else we could have went anywhere. Uh, there's really nowhere to fish. 
are at number four. It's a really large lake. Unfortunately, there's a rock bank along that whole other side. I'd, I'd rather be on that end. It's another very dingy lake. I just wish I could fish the rocks on the other side. Very dingy, just like the other one, unfortunately. This one probably wouldn't be too bad, but it's too far to portage a kayak. We had to walk almost, I bet, three quarters of a mile to get here. All uphill. We are way up on a mountain. That's why this is called Lookout Mountain Lake. <clears throat> I need to see if I can get to that other end. Because the trail also went around. We might be able to get to the rock. The rocks would be better. Yeah. Uh-huh. You can get to it. You just got to keep going down that road. Yeah, it looks easy to fish down there. Guys, this is lake number five. So far, this place has been a really big disappointment. They expect you to hike in several miles to get to these lakes, and then when you get there, there might be one little spot you can actually fish and the rest is covered up with tree steep banks. Uh, it's literally taken us 45 minutes to walk to this one. I mean, it's a little ridiculous. And the thing is, you couldn't tell by the satellite photos, but the road is blocked off by a picnic table and it's an actual gravel road is the trail to get here. So it's very rough on the feet because it's big gravel and you could easily drive a car on it, but obviously they don't want anybody driving on it. I'm seeing a lot of fish activity in this one. This is a fairly small duck. But this one has a lot of activity in it, looks like. Even though it's dingy. It might have a little luck in it, you never know. I guess. <clears throat> it's ridiculous. My feet are killing me. And we gotta walk all the way back. They expect people to walk that damn far to get to these lakes and then you can't fish it because it's so steep and so many trees. Finally mm -hmm. made it to the other side of lake number four where we was looking across from that side earlier. Only with about 10 minutes to fish and we gotta go. We got about a 40 minute walk back to the car. The water is a little bit clearer on this side. It's real dingy on that side, but this side ain't real bad. Unfortunately, I lost my spinner bait, which, which is what I was really wanting to fish with. In the last lake I was with, it got hung. Huh? Yeah. This lake looked... Got one. All right, guys, it's not, now officially not a fishless day. Huh, something told me to come to this corner. Little dink bass, but hey, I caught a fish. It's a miracle. Wow, right at the end of the day, and after all that 45 minute walk, I was pretty aggravated. My feet are killing me. They're gonna hurt tomorrow because of the path we had to take to get here was absolutely dreadful but hey I caught a fish on the missile bombshell he's a little guy but hey that really shocked me awesome there's fish in here the thing is nobody can get a boat in here and nobody can get a canoe or even a kayak in here because you have to walk that far it would take two people to carry a kayak and even that would wear you out. It'd be very, very hard. There he is. Oh yeah, it's bigger. There we go, guy. Oh yeah. Not bad. Not bad. Over a pound. I got him on the third try. He nipped at it twice. Whoa, 
there's something really wrong with him he's got two holes in his head guys check this bass out talk about well, I don't know what this could be a turtle got a hold of him or he's got a complete hole right here right there and he's got another hole over here he's been grabbed by an eagle or something would have been a decent bass but oh he's ugly what an ugly one well guys hey we end up catching something not bad <clears throat> this lake ain't bad Got him. All right, guys, three bass. Hey. All right, bass number three. Or key, I'm keyed in on them there. These weeds go around the lake. They're, they go out about 10 feet and they sit right in, the, in between those. And I'm back up in this corner. So I got him cornered in. Another little guy, but hey, at least I ended up did catch three fish at the end of the evening. I don't want to say it made it worth coming, but it wasn't a total loss now anyway. Got another one. Oh yeah. Man, four. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I just got two in a row. Yeah, that's four. Three small ones and one okay one. All right, guys, bass number four. He's got snail larvae on him. All right, now this lake ain't too bad. The other one sucked. This is all right. Large mouth. Good job. Bass. <sighs> Hold on. Okay. Oh, I'm asking to get hung up. But God. Oh, yeah. Oh, missed him. Damn, he was right there. Right at the edge. There he is. Oh, it's a big one. It's a big one. Oh, oh, yeah. He's two pounds. He got off, guys, the first time, or I never, I didn't set the hook the first. Oh, he didn't get, he, I can't even see my lure at all. Oh, my goodness. Wow, guys, now it made the day worth it. That's a nice bass. Oh, my goodness. Look at that. He was right by the bank in two feet of water. Oh, it's a nice two-pounder here, guys. Oh, yeah, man, he... That thing is almost down in his stomach. There we go, on the missile. Look, not bad. All right guys, bass number five, all from this one corner. I'm gonna get him back in. Well, I officially smell fishy. He got off the first time I had him hooked for like one second and I threw it right back where he was. Oh man. <clears throat> right on this wood guys, there ain't much wood in this lake. There's one right here, right where we happen to be. And they're on it. Winter, think wood. Winter wood guys, never, never let you down usually. 
That's six bass. My goodness. Got a two hour drive to get back home. But uh, <coughs> it's hard to say will I ever come back here or not. Most likely not, but if I do, I'm coming straight here and none of the other lakes. This one, honestly, could probably be worth it if you brought, brought about four or five dozen minnows and come down here with multiple poles. Uh, at least you got this long rock bank right here. It does have potential. So I could see myself coming back to this lake. Where's the other? Uh, but not really the other lakes. All the other lakes were a major disappointment. But this one really turned out to be pretty decent. I caught six bass and she caught one. Um, so it's definitely got a good population, at least in that corner. And if I would have kept going around, I could have got the road continues to go over there to the end of the parking lot and there's another cove. I probably could have caught a few back in there if I would have wanted to walk that far. So I may end up coming back here someday. Like I said, just to this lake only and uh, hike in with a lot of minnows. Problem is the minnows will get very heavy because you got to have a lot of water on them. But uh, anyway guys, had a fun day. Got to explore new places. Got to meet a cool horse. And uh, you know, just get out of the house. So uh, until next time, hit that like button and please subscribe. General Watkins Conservation Area, Southeast Missouri. And I'm checking out.